Amazing Jojo here. I just got finished the first run of my new Super Spinner with Penny Real Technology DVD. I got back from the post office. It's all been shipped out. I wanted to do a big Black Friday doorbuster style event to really get some web traffic in so everybody knows about this. And so I decided I would do a free Magic Joint tutorial on my Hot Shot Magic Wand. The Hot Shot Magic Wand was inspired by the Fism Flash. And the idea is that everything would be self-contained within the wand, so there would be no stacking anything on your body or pinning or anything, no secret switches. And basically, uh, this has been years of me trying to develop this wand, and the closest I've come to what I actually want is a, simply an acrylic drum set, a drumstick. And this is a special LED one that when you hit the drum, there's a sensor in it that causes an LED to light up. Now the company that makes these has a system set up where a music store can contact them and they'll put a special header card, they'll call it whatever they want and put their little URL on it. So these come with a lot of different names by a different, bunch of different music stores. Ultimately if you punch up a LED drumstick on eBay, that's how I found it. Uh, Hot Sticks I think was the one I, I actually ended up buying. And from there all I did was wrap some black masking tape around it to conceal all the rest of it. Now, I said it's not exactly what I wanted. Here's some of the problems. All the weight is at the one end, so that makes the spins real awkward because this end has all the weight and this end has none. So I don't like that. And plus, my magic wand, when I do cups and balls, is square, not round, because when I do it, I throw the wand down on the table. And I can't do that with this because when I throw it on the table, it wants to roll off. So unless my table is level, I don't get to use this one. But when I do use it, it works great. Uh, people can see it, and we're going to look at a particular clip of me doing this live. Now, in this particular clip, I had no idea anybody was even watching me. If I was normally just rehearsing cups and balls like this, nobody would pay me any mind. But the light uh, seems to have attracted some kids that were over there, and they happened to notice what I was doing. When I lifted the two cups up at once to expose two lemons at once, I would have never done that if people were actually watching. I was under the impression I was alone. So uh, this is very powerful. You can see how strong it is. It does draw people in. When it gets dark, it doesn't do much in the daylight. But when it gets dark, it draws people in. And so let's go take a look at this in action live at Barefoot Landing. Yeah, I'm not sure.